Hi there. This is your little mini reading to um, back up the self-love card from today because what it talked about was how your intuition is constantly aware of the voice of spirit, but what happens if your body doesn't feel anything? How do you know that God is real? And so I just felt drawn to collect three cards here that can help us with a deeper understanding because um, sometimes your past experiences are like a filter and might not be letting the um, sense of spirit get to you. So I drew three cards to help us understand. The first one here, the King of Swords. When I look at the King of Swords, I think about a complete mindset, a completely developed, fully powerful mindset. And I know that that was true for me many years ago. I did not really believe or understand how you could feel spiritual things physically. So my mindset was completely closed. I had a complete mindset that disallowed the physical experience of spirituality. And so that was of my own design, not consciously, because I grew up in a family and I was a child and grew up with um, a religious background. And so I had a certain mindset that I didn't fully know how to interpret. When I look at the Eight of Swords, it explains the process of how coming from my younger years and then becoming older and wanting to figure out my own decision about what spirit is. So the Eight of Swords, I love, <clears throat> again, the swords are the suit of our thoughts and they're also the suit of, of um, that really has been the theme of my personal development and maybe yours too. It's constantly thinking and trying to figure out why it is that certain goals are just out of reach or why things don't happen. So in the Eight of Swords, when I look at her, she um, is looking into this mirror and in the mirror, she sees herself all tied up and the crows are rat, 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 rat. That just so reminds me of the part of my brain that can go into a loop and just keep yammering at me. That's what my mom used to say, yammering, where your mind can just pick on you and bring you all kinds of doubt. But if you look at her, she's not tied up at all. She's completely free. But because her mindset, her reflections are all still bound, even though she stepped away from the strong belief system that spirit only is in the heart and not in the body, that you couldn't feel spirit. But now there's this opening like, yes, maybe I could, but what's the step? And so I believe self-love is the step that slowly but surely, just like we're doing with these little readings, come into a better understanding of self-love then we can turn away from this false reflection that we can't feel this power of God in our body. And then over here in our final card, the Six of Wands, I mean, that makes me happy just looking at it. Look at the comparison between those two characters. Now she's standing free. Her hands are up in the air. She has a wreath of victory right next to her. Her wands, the suit of power and passion, are starting to be set free. Now the wands goes all the way up to the king of wands. And so we know that the passion is not fully developed, but the king of wands is the card that would um, show that the power and the passion is fully developed. And that's not true yet for many of us. We're just on the way. But this is a card of acclamation and of public um, acknowledgement of growth. So my thought is that if you are still struggling a little bit, not sure about what it is to feel spiritual things, that you're well on the way. If you're listening to this reading, there is no accident there. You're on your way. So um, if you enjoy these readings and you're enjoying learning about self-love, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and um, I will be putting out these messages every day for the next couple of weeks and you'll be notified when they come. Above all, go forth and prosper and know that you're loved. And so all we need to do is convince you to love yourself.
the way spirit loves you. We'll see you for tomorrow's message.